How did you come into embryology, ma'am, and and into forty nine also? Um, actually, I have completed my masters in genetics. This about this field, my sister has guided me. Uh, she is a doctor. Uh, she uh, she works in Mumbai. So she has guided me. I have joined in this embryology field. How did you get into forty nine? So I have got a good opportunity in forty nine uh, to because it's a fast uh, expansion of forty nine. So I can uh, give my hundred percent to this uh, organization and to make the couples also happy. So I just had a uh, gracious opportunity to join in forty nine. So how many years are you working with forty nine or in this embryology field? So I have completed ten years uh, working in embryology field and recently I have joined forty nine. I have completed seven months uh, in forty nine. What's your experience so far working as an embryologist? Once the couple come with the baby and uh, seeing the smile in their face. it's very happy and uh, i have done something good that god has gifted me uh, to create babies and once the couple are very happy bringing the kids and when the kids come a uh, small babies that is very enthusiastic happiness that when i see the couples and smile on that face so but you don't have any rapport with the patients or do you have any communication with them no whenever the couple come with the babies we cut the cake in the um, hospital and when the positive also it will come means after 15 days beta hcg the couple we are giving a fla- uh, flowers uh, and we cut the cake so it's a celebration time yes. so then all of you <laughs> meet and we talk so yes. then that the time that is the time you have rapport with the communication yes, with the yes. patients yes and after 9 month also uh, the couple come with the baby they show us that uh, this is the baby what we have uh, so you feel like you are you are the one who made that baby <laughs> yes we we'll feel very happy actually so ma'am how will be your work at 49 ma'am from morning to evening so how will be your schedule so um, morning once we enter in the lab just we uh, change our scrubs uh, we wash our hands and completely sterile we will go in the lab first we do qaqc uh, qaqc for all the instruments all the uh, temperatures are okay or no all the it is working fine after doing qaqc we grade the embryos after grading the embryos we give update to the consultant and the uh, uh, frozen embryos we have to freeze that also we will take the confirmation on the patients also and uh, we also also tell uh, after that we thaw the embryos fets will be frozen embryo transfers will be so like that we complete the day so ma'am uh, okay do you feel any work hectic pressure or something working at forty nine uh, no not not so because a- every case is our case what we are doing whenever the patient come with a uh, we have to give best so every patient and every oocyte every gametes are very important so i i am blessed with that that i am doing a good job so it is not hectic continuously if you will tell me to sit in the icy machine and do icies i'm happily i i can do whenever i'm at the workplace i don't have phone calls nothing everyone at home also they know that i am at hospital then my 100% i will give to my house after my time is done means after 8 and 9 hours is done then my home schedule will start that time my brain brain will not work like that that time also you should be alert that something might happen in the lab so how far it affects you emotionally ma'am um pardon i am not getting it yes. no ma'am like you go to home you do your homework uh, like uh, you will stay at home but uh, you will think about the patients like uh, how is the embryo is it growing or something uh, does it affect you emotionally yes exactly uh, the question what you ask few patients when they will come from the trigger till the embryos uh, means well, o- ovum pick up that time few patients are attached to us okay and uh, some known patients also will come but every single patient if relatives also if unknown patients every single patient is very important for us every patients is same there is no difference between everything but every whenever i'll sit on the icy machine i feel this is my first case in my life i am doing this job from 10 years but every case i pretend that this is my first case and i have to give 100% and i have to create babies so in that sense i'll do my work